He's first to act, and he looks like he's getting chips out. Yep, he's going to bet 325,000. Now Yannick with the wheel draw and the baby spade flush draw, he throws his hand away. But the New Yorker, Jeremy Brown, getting none of that and no spade. Absolute zip and pip. I raise it. He's taking his time. He says raise. Unbelievable. No hand and no draw, and he comes right over the top of Ivan here. His friends loving it. Little do they know that he has horrible hand. Well, a lot of guts here by Jeremy Brown. Makes it 9.75 to go. Well, he's not betting on the cards, Vince, that's for sure. The guy didn't raise before the flop. You don't put him on an ace. Maybe he'll throw a flush draw away if it's a smaller flush draw. Ivan in a quandary right now. Well, Jeremy, a Penn State grad, playing this hand like a lion, that's for sure. The former Nittany Lion taking down this pot with bold, aggressive play. What a nice move, picking up that pot. And he smiles. Well, you got to feel proud. That's beautifully done. Back the table, action on the Canadian. Yannick Broder, poker pro. He quickly folds his hand, but Jeremy picking up a big hand. 400. Ace king of clubs. Makes it 400,000 to go. Well, he's all smiles right now. Winning pots and picking up cards at the same time. Chip leader Olivier with a queen jack. And look at this little tasty re-raise. Makes it 850. I have an out. And Jeremy just calls the re-raise. Most guys would just come right over the top with Ace King suited here, especially against the chip leader, but not Jeremy. Wants to see a flop, and what a flop Ooh. it is as it comes Ace King five. Oh, and Jeremy's shaking his head. He's shaking his head, but he's all grins. Shaking his head. Usually, when you shake your head, you have a big hand. That's exactly what he has. Bad tell there by Jeremy. What are you trying to do here, huh? Olivier is going to fire out the continuation bet here. Yep. 950,000. Didn't pick up on Jeremy's antics. Oh, look at Jeremy now, staring up at the sky, wondering what to do. Well, all he's wondering is, do I just call and continue to trap this guy, or do I come over the top of him right here? I call. He's just going to call. Big trouble here for the chip leader, Olivia, unless he hits a 10, but no, it's a deuce of clubs. Action on Olivier. Getting thirsty over here. And look at this, Jeremy saying, I'll take another drink. <laughs> Olivier, obviously not picking up on these kind of tails. He is going to fire out over two million in chips here. I'm all in. And Jeremy going all in. Yeah. Well, here comes the baseball bat. That's when you do it. Now, well, Vance, I got to tell you the truth. I know this guy's a great online poker pro, but I believe Olivier needs to work on his live tells a little bit. Yep. Because you and I felt it was pretty obvious that Jeremy had a hand there, but Olivier did not pick up on it. Here at the shore, there's still waves of cash and a WPT title up for grabs. Now the Brigada Poker Open from Atlantic City will continue. Don't go away. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're at the Brigada Poker Open, where four players remain. Got two Canadians, two New Yorkers, all four of these guys making their first WPT final table appearance. All four of them in their 20s. Youth will prevail once again on the World Poker Tour. Blind still 80 and 160,000. Winner going to take home close to a million dollars here tonight. Action going to the New Yorker. He's an accountant out of New York, Jeremy Brown. Got a jack seven and he quickly folds. Surprising, right? And now Olivier Bousquet. Used to be the chip leader. And he's got king six this time. He's going to move it up to 400,000, Mike. I have an out. Yannick Broder, hockey player all of his life, lives in Montreal, looks down at two snowmen. He's got the two eights. He has seen the former chip leader. I'm talking about Olivier spiral downward a little bit. So you wonder how he's going to play these two eights against him. 1.3. Well, there's your answer. 1.3 million. But he's going to just push Olivier right out of this pot. So chalk that one up to great poker instincts by Yannick Broder from Canada right there. The hockey player putting one in the net there. Well, Olivier came to this final table as the big Can chip leader. One more Budweiser. Nothing seemingly going right for the online poker pro right now. So funny because early on he was the bully at the table. He was pushing everyone around. He stood up straight. Now look at him. He's a shell of himself. <laughs> she, she, she should know what I want, right? 
And it's a four, Jake. All right, this time it's up to him again. He's got an A6. Then one of those marginal kind of hands, but you almost have to play him short-handed. He's going to raise it again, 400,000. Into Mr. Music who folds. And now the Canadian, Yannick, with a king eight, also folding. But Jeremy Brown with an ace nine is going to make the call. And here comes the flop. Let's well, come seven, seven, five with two clubs. I check to the better. Jeremy says, I'll check to the better. I check to the better. Yeah, that's Olivier's girlfriend in the crowd. And Olivier, will he make the continuation bet? Well, you gotta give him credit. He's got heart. He's betting 475,000 with his ace high. Well, now Jeremy's got a tough problem as to what to do. He might think his ace high is the best hand. But besides calling this bet, check it. can you stand the pressure of future bets? Well, Jeremy's going to check in the dark. In other words, he's checking before the card even comes out there. And Olivier sees that. Ooh. The king of clubs comes off, putting a possible flush out there. I want to rethink that. Now he's got the four flush, but it's too late. He's checked it already. And Olivier checking behind him. Well, you're fearful a little bit. Your opponent might have had a flush draw. Indeed, Jeremy's got the ace of clubs. He does have the nut flush draw now. A seven comes off, putting three sevens on the board. 600. Jeremy is going to fire out there now, 600,000. They both have exactly the same hand, three sevens with an ace king. And what Olivier is thinking about here, if a guy had a flush, would he bet when there's three sevens on the board? I don't think so. He would just check it down and hope it was good. So he's trying to figure out, did the guy have a full house all the time? Would he really bet sevens full of fives in this spot? Is my ace high any good right now? Vince, I think he may call him here with the ace high, and indeed he's doing it. I got ace high. This is going to be a split pot. Wow, great call. That's a nice call by Olivier right here, folks, I can tell you. He thought things out pretty good. Didn't think the guy would bet a flush. Jeremy's staring down there. Wow. He's thinking, pretty good call by this guy. I love the call, dude. Yep, Jeremy giving him respect right there as he guzzles another beer. <laughs> Split pot, and we move on. Action going to Olivier on this hand. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. Well, it looks like a queen jack. Cool. Yeah, Olivier seemingly playing every pot <laughs> now and getting some hands to play him with. <laughs> and in the music, behind him with the button with a king nine. And he's going to push it up a bit. Well, he's going to raise it. Makes it 525,000 to go. Yannick looks down at an ace four offsuit. First guy limped in. The next guy raised it. This kind of hand most players would just muck immediately here. You just hate to play an ace and a baby card when two players are in the pot in front of you and it's been raised. Girlfriend Claudia rooting her man on. Two million. And look wow. at this. He's going to make it two million. Gee. Jeremy out, Olivier also out. What a bet by Yannick Broder right here. Well, Ivan's just posing for the cameras. He's not playing either, Vince. I can promise you with a King-9 offsuit. He knows his opponent's about pot committed, so if he would raise it, he'd get called. And you just don't want to get your money in there with a King-9 in this spot. You have to give Yannick a lot of credit for making this raise. Unbelievable. Ivan does go out. Yannick does win the pot. And right there, the former hockey player just since a couple guys were sneaking across the blue line or something, and he whacked him with a stick. The bluffs are happening in Atlantic City. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Welcome back to the Borgata Poker Open, where the winner is going to take home a ton of cash. That is right. Close to a million dollars. First place prize here tonight. 925,000, second place 453,000, and right now our chip leader is the accountant out of New York, Jeremy Brown. He has 12.2 million in chips. Yeah, the graduate from Penn State, out in front right now and feeling good. To the table we go. Action on the Canadian. Ivan Mamusic looks down at an A7 of clubs. Pretty attractive hand in a four-handed poker game, and he's going to raise it. Makes it 400,000 to go. It's folded around to Olivier Bousquet, who looks down at two fives in the big blind. He 
He's been playing very aggressive at this final table. Played a lot of hands, but takes a conservative mode here by just calling. Doesn't re-raise with the two fives. Here comes a flop. A flop is nine, six, three with two hearts. Olivier still out in front with the two fives. Check. And he checks. Yep. I have been also checking. Nothing hitting on that flop. Here goes the turn card. Well, a seven comes off. Ivan has made the best hand now with two sevens. Olivier, however, has a two-way straight draw. A four or an eight would make him a straight. And he's going to bet on the come. It looks like 525,000 with no real hand at this moment. Well, Ivan's going to call him with the two sevens. Yeah, big pot brewing here. Down to the river. Who's going to get lucky? Oh, look at this. A five. Three of a kind there. Unbelievable. Olivier has outplucked him, as we say, on the river here. He's now out in front, but there is a possible flush and a possible straight out there. So do you want to bet trips here? A lot of danger everywhere with these five exposed cards. But Olivier looks like he's getting the guts up. Put the chips out. It's 1.150 in chips. Really? Well, he's bet about half the size of the pot here. And Ivan now trying to figure this out. Would the guy really bet on the come with a straight draw? If he just had a four or an eight in his hand? Good call. Whoa. He's going to make the call with the five. two sevens. It's good. And Olivier's three fives are going to win this pot. And Vance, maybe that'll get him back on the right track here. A great value bet on the river there. A dangerous bet, in my view, but one that paid off for Olivier there. Real nice bet. Ivan, the music, paying that off. Oh, boy. Like he just broke a guitar string on that one. <laughs> All right. Back to the felt we go. Action on our chip leader, Jeremy Brown. 400. And he's got a nice hand. Ace queen, making it 400,000 quickly. Olivier out. Ivan also out. Now around to the big blind here. Oh, and look at this. Yannick Brodeur has picked up Ace King. He's got big slick in the big blind. Great. Oh, pippity doo -dah. You love Ace King when another guy has Ace Queen. And of course, Yannick says raise. Yannick sitting in third chip position at the moment. I'm all in. Call. Oh, wow, all in and called. Jeremy knows he made a mistake when he got called that quick. And this is amazing, Vince. Yannick Broder will take the chip lead if he wins this pot. Damn. He's got way the best hand. Ace King against Ace Queen. Maybe he got it. For a guy playing in his first ever WPT tournament, he could be the chip leader with four players left if the Ace King holds up. Throw a queen out there one time. Jeremy begging for a queen. queen. Can he get it on the flop? Nope. Well, yeah, flop comes 986. Queen, please. 10 jack. Jeremy's going to need a queen to win the pot. A 10 jack ten would jack, do it for him queen. as well. He's looking for a lucky safe. lady. Oh, and he hits it on the turn. Look at that. Queen comes right off on the turn. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, the blue boy's celebrating with him. Well, it's not over. Yannick can catch a king on the river and win the pot. But Vince, I got to tell you. He took that turn card about as good as anybody I've ever seen when you're playing for a million dollars. Hardly flinched when it came off of there. Yannick needs a miracle, but does not get it. Yes! Yes! Well, there's tough luck for the Canadian right there. Knocked out in fourth place on a bad beat. Yes! Oh, yeah, Yannick completely stunned here. Just like that, Yannick out. He's going to pick up 216,000. What a gentleman walking away with a lot of class, and we are down to three. I'm just happy to, to get it in with the, the better hand, so. That was so sick. And with that hand, we are out of time. With the account, Jeremy Brown's chip stack keep appreciating. Or can the online pro and the Canadian cash game player knock him down? Be sure to join us when the next WPT champion will be crowned at the Borgata Fogro. I don't understand what this is for here. <laughs>